Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to a weird Wednesday video <laughs> but also kind of part of 31 days of horror. I mean it's a tag video yay um it's a Halloween tag. Yeah so I did I've done Halloween tags in the past and I will link them in the description and they'll probably pop up up here um if you want to check those out um but I did manage to find one that I hadn't answered these questions before really necessarily um and I like the question so I thought I would do this one um and I will also link where I found it I found it on a blog I will link that blog in the description as well all right so um really quick though before i get into anything else i want to say thank you to my creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel thank you so so much if you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep you can follow that link in the description this question is what is your favorite halloween movie definitely got to go with hocus pocus that is one that i watch every single year on halloween while carving pumpkins um <laughs> it is definitely part of my halloween traditions so I love that movie, but if I'm going with a horror movie, it's definitely trick or treat. Can't go wrong with that one. You just can't. Second question, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you enjoy Halloween? Mm, I'm gonna have to go with 31. Third question, what is your fondest Halloween memory? I don't remember how old <laughs> I was when this was going on. We were definitely like at the tail end of our like acceptable trick-or-treating year so we were probably like 11-ish 10 or 11 or something like that for me my friends were going around trick-or-treating and for whatever reason that year i don't know if it was because like we were old enough to you know go around without our parents so we didn't have you know <laughs> parents holding us back or anything um we got around like our neighborhood is pretty big um especially in terms of like trick-or-treating um but we got around to the most houses I think that we had ever <laughs> gotten around to on any Halloween. Um, I also think it was probably because it was on like a Friday or Saturday too and people were out later. Anyway, so um, I think it was like a combination of all that and we just got around to the most houses that we had ever gotten to. So we got Buku candy, we managed to get to a house that was pretty far out in our neighborhood, like again, farther than we've ever gone. Um, so we've never gotten out that far before and they were giving out full size candy bars, which is always a jackpot house, you know, when you find the house that gives out full size candy. Uh, but it was just like super enjoyable we had a fun time we were running around there were so many people in our neighborhood that decorated and it was awesome and yeah i just loved it that was a really good halloween memory fourth question um have you always been a halloween lover yes um it definitely probably started because i'm a fat kid still a fat kid and uh, obviously it's a holiday where you go around and you get free candy so i loved it because of that i think as i was younger um and then it morphed into a love of the season and just everything about it as i got older five how do you get into the halloween spirit you mean there's an off switch well in short i'm never not in the halloween spirit um however the hype does become real whenever I put up the decorations, um, especially the lights, which I'll get into in a little bit. But yeah, like just having all my Halloween decorations up and curling up and watching, you know, one of my favorite Halloween movies like Hocus Pocus, like The Nightmare Before Christmas, like Trick or Treat, anything like that um, gets me all like giddy and gets the hype up and things like that. So <laughs> I'm always in the Halloween spirit, but it's definitely heightened in October, which I think all of you guys can you know, a, like agree with, right? Sixth question, uh, favorite Halloween decorations? This is, this is gonna be like the weirdest answer, but it's my orange and purple lights. Like just like the string lights, just like my string lights <laughs> or any lights, I guess, like the pumpkin lights, like that, any sort of like orange and purple, green. Ooh, I've never had green ones. That could be Christmas Eve too though. I don't know, anyways, lights. <laughs> I know that sounds weird and nerdy and just stupid um but hear me out there's just like something about like the glow like you know when it's all dark out and then you just have like you know like it's just this orange and purple glow just like cast over all your halloween decorations like cobwebs and tombstones and skulls and things like that and pumpkins and i don't know it's just like something about the glow of the lights that's like magical and it makes me giddy and it's just like literally like filled up head to toe with joy, just pure joy. And I don't know what it is. It's something about the lights. 
Um, <laughs> I think it comes in part from my all time favorite Halloween decoration, which is our great pumpkin, or that's what we call it anyway, <laughs> the great pumpkin. Um, it's this giant ass light up pumpkin that I've had for as long as I can remember. I don't even know when we got it. I'm gonna try and get some footage <laughs> of um, how intense this glow is and I hope it comes up on camera because literally you can see the glow of this thing. Like after you reach a certain point on the road leading up to our house, you just see this orange glow coming from somewhere and you know like and it's just like that's how intense the glow is you can see it from down the road um i just feel like it's just like this beacon of halloween energy like it's not halloween unless the great pumpkin is out and it's going to be a very very sad year when that thing stops working once and for all um <laughs> i hope that never happens since it casts such an intense orange glow i think that's part of the reason why i have like such a thing about lighting and the lights Maybe, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Seventh question, favorite Halloween slash fall scent? I've said it a bunch of times on this channel. I usually do like a candle haul, which I haven't gotten any candles really this year, which is kind of sad. Um, <laughs> no money, people. Um, I usually get from like Witch City Wicks. I also really like Sick Wicks. Um, they also make awesome candles. Um, but I don't like the overly sweet sense if it is going to be sweet it's got to be something like my favorite fall scents which are like apples and cinnamon love that stuff um <laughs> something like that um, i don't like the sugary scents it's not my thing question favorite candy as a kid and as a non-vegan person my favorite candy were 100 gram bars those are super rare and those are ones that i would like savor i would just like parcel those out every couple of days and resist eating them all at once. I loved those. But nowadays, um, I think my favorite Halloween candy vegan style that I have tried was last year, which were the Unreal peanut butter, Unreal is the brand name, um, but they were also Unreal, like how good they were. Um, <laughs> peanut butter cups, it was like the vegan version of Reese's. Um, and they had little like crunchy quinoa bits in them that, you know, they were like puff quinoa or something like that so it acts like a like a crunchy thing you know like a crunch bar kind of but in Reese's form and it was delicious and um, I'll link the video that I did last year which was a Halloween vegan candy haul if you want to check that out ninth question uh, what is a weird or odd fear that you have I don't know if this is necessarily weird but like anything having to do with my belly button I hate that <laughs> Does anyone else like that like you're like ultra sensitive about your belly button like I don't know. I feel like that's a pretty weird fear that I have. And the tenth and final question: Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, yes, I do. I will refrain from telling the Stanley Hotel story, which I've told many times now. Um, <laughs> but yes, I do believe in ghosts. So I will leave the questions. I'll probably pin them in a comment um, in the comment section. So it should be right at the top if you want to answer the questions for yourself. Um, I'm not going to tag anybody because I can't, you know, I know everybody already really has their schedule set <laughs> for October um, very early on. So if you want to do this tag, by all means, I will officially tag you, please do. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday regularly, but during the month of October, I'm posting a movie review every single day with extra videos such as this one thrown in. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye.